Hey everybody, Greg here, and welcome to 3D Archery. This week on 3D Archery, I'm headed down to the Bergen Bowman in New Jersey. Now, I went to this place last year with my wife, and they had a pig roast, and we had a great time. We even filmed it, we had a nice video all set up for everybody, and then I deleted it before I could post it on YouTube. Duh. But it was a good uh, mistake because it taught me a lesson, and I changed how I organize things. I make sure completed files are in a different one, and blah, blah, blah. So I'm not, in the end, it all turned out for the best. So this shoot, let's find out where it's located. This is very easy to find. The Bergen Bowman's located just off of I-287. Now, if you use your GPS, the address they give you on their website is actually for the other side of the road. So when you're on your GPS, it's gonna tell you, like, if you're going um, one way, it's gonna say arriving at your destination on the left, but it's actually on the right. All right, so just keep that in mind if you're using the GPS to find it. For this um, signage, all they had was the big sign you see right here, right in the edge of the road. And what you probably can tell by the sign is that Bergen Bowman actually used land owned by the state of New Jersey. It's a state park. So they got a nice, beautiful sign and nice grounds. The parking lot, they got a nice parking lot. You know, it's all gravel. It could fit 20, 30, 40 cars with ease. The practice range had targets at 15, 20, 25, 30, and 35 yards, the target butt types. They didn't have a clubhouse because they're in the park grounds. But what they did, they had a connex and then storage areas and like that. And they had a really nice set of restrooms because it's state land and you know the state puts some money. You know they don't just build cheap things. So they had nice restrooms with running water and everything. Now for food. This shoot was a barbecue. And it was $10 for the shoot and an additional $10 for the barbecue. And what they did is they gave you a wristband, which you can see here. One said you're doing the shoot, and the other one said you're doing the barbecue. So if you get them, make sure you wear them. All right, everybody, let's go to the map, and I'll show you the course. Now, this course, I walked 2.5 miles. Now, the, the course isn't really that long. I helped some people find some lost arrows, and that tacked on a pretty good amount of distance. So I'd say this course is probably roughly two to two and a quarter miles long. We started right here, we worked our way around and ended up right here. Now at the end of the course, you actually walk down the trail a ways to get back to where the clubhouse is. The highest point was 514 feet and the lowest point was 454 feet by the start area. The terrain was woodland, little open areas, and when I say open areas, it wasn't like no trees, it was all the underbrush was removed. And there's one spot with a little bit of wetlands, so it was a, a stream around target four, and it wasn't much. You know, if you had a heavy rain, it actually might be a little damp, but 99.99% of the time there is no wetlands there. I would say this course is very easy to navigate. Um, it's a well-worn out course. As long as you don't zone out, you shouldn't walk off course. And they had these nice nifty little arrows and all different markers and pieces of tape along the course for you to follow. Now the target markers were marked with different colored tape. The station markers were numbers put on trees. Now on this course, they didn't have any water stations, but that's okay. For me this day, it was nice weather. Not for the targets, I'd give these guys a fair grade. Now, let me put a cavat on that. You know, the Bergen Bowman's a very small club, and they don't have a lot of money. They don't even have their own grounds. But it doesn't take away from the club, let me put it that way. Don't, don't look at that as a negative. 
but they're limited. And the price on these targets can be obnoxiously high. So I think they did an awesome job with what they have. And I always say, when I think of the Bergen Bowman, it's the little club, the little club that could. That's how I look at it. They're, they're a little club, but they do such a great job with what they have. All right, I see big, big clubs that don't put on an event as well as these guys. So the targets themselves, what do they have? Well, there is nine small targets. There's three turkeys and six javelinas. It's 16 medium targets, eight deer, four boars, two wolves, a bear, and a mountain lion. And they had three large targets, a ram, a mountain goat, and an elk. And they're all in pretty darn good shape. You know, none of them was falling apart. They didn't have to use great foam or anything to repair them. They were in a nice state of uh, preservation, I don't know. Yeah. They're just in a nice shape. For their shots, you know, I give these guys an above average grade on how they use the terrain. Some of them, especially in the second half, they were a lot of fun. You know, the others I understand, you know, like open shots all the time, but they did little things. And I'm not going to tell you what they did, you'll see in the video. They did little things that kept it interesting and fun for me. So they actually did have trick shots. And the first one we're going to look at is the ping pong ball. Now, last year I went to it and I couldn't hit it. Showed up this year, watched it, walked down, and what it is, the ping pong ball and the other one are fundraisers for St. Jude's and it was dollar an arrow. Well, I happened to have six dollars on me. I didn't want to have a break of 50 because that's the only other bill I had. So I go, well, I'll tell you what, I'll do three here, I'll do three in the beer. So watching that ping pong, and I've seen a couple compound guys make it, you know, and they, they nail it all the time. So you'll see what happens. So let's watch me trying to shoot the floating ping pong ball. Yeah, hold it. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> you haven't seen me shoot that. Who was that? William Tell? William Tell shot a crossbow. <laughs> That's what a lot of people don't know. He didn't shoot a regular bow, he shot a crossbow. Ooh. Get the right height. Move your side a little. Yeah. <laughs> I'm bracketing it. There you go. I didn't hear it last time. Alright, you got it. This is my first piece. Oh! Yeah, you get three in the bear. Holy shit. You got Trust me. It's standard number. Oh! Baby it. dog! I knew it. Thank you. You know, I was pumped when I hit it. I'm glad I got it because you know the last time it sort of you know just you know just got into it. The second one was their Bigfoot. And Bigfoot's out there, I think, 38 or 40 yards. And we'll take a look at me trying to shoot Bigfoot in the little, little tiny little sticker they had on. Right in front of your eyes. Right in front of your eyes. So when you're looking at the boat, the wow. That thing dropped like you wouldn't believe. Okay. I got him. I just had a fine word to aim. The tip of the arrow. A little higher. You're going to go to the first target, but the tip of the arrow. Oh, oh shit. Stop hitting that branch. The branch. Oh, that was three, right? Yeah. No, no, it's going to go three me. more, man. You got interference. I'm not going to hit him. You're going to hit him. No. That's two. I'm going to. I'm already at his head. There might be inside. You oh, got it. I think you nailed it. I don't think so. Here. I think he nailed it. Well, take two more shots anyway, right? Yeah, take two more shots. Come on. I think he's in the. I think he's in the red. Yeah. If not, he's. I do the same thing. Naturally, the arrow's going to 
drop more, and then you start raising Oh more. my god! You're filming this, right? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Wow! Because <laughs> you know, if I wasn't, I'd never hit it again. This is amazing how hard they got to aim up on him. Uh, I aimed, uh, up, I aimed up higher on him. Those two were the specialty shots, and they raised money for St. Jude, which is always a good thing to do. There was no trick shots on the course, except for one that you can do on target 19, which you'll see in the video, which I think they should make the real shot, because that was just so cool. All right, let's talk about the distances. From 10 to 15 yards, there wasn't a single shot there. From 16 to 20, there was nine. From 21 to 25, there was 10 shots. From 26 to 30, there was eight shots. And from 31 to 35, there was one shot. So this course had the distances out there, you know, which is great, because they weren't the biggest targets. So a major work your game, and it's a challenge. And I like challenges. For equipment, I shot my left-handed 1967 Ben Pearson Colt, 47 pounder. I really like this bow. I'm becoming very comfortable with it, and I'm starting to see really, really good results with it. Now the arrows, it's the first time I brought these out. These are brand new arrows I made up. And these are Go Tip Traditional XTs, 600 spines. And I bare shafted them just to this bow. And my other ones that I was shooting, I actually set up for a different bow that was 40 pounds. And they took 600 spines, 125 grain heads. So I went down here in my basement, shot at 8 yards, 600 spine with a 47 pound bow, and it came up too stiff. That was with a 125 grain head. I went to 145s, too stiff. I went to 175s and it shot straight. So I shot like 6, 7 of them in a row just to make sure, and 175 made it fly totally straight. And I had it didn't cut anything. So everybody that tells you, you know, a 47-pound bow should have 500s or 400s. No, uh-uh. I'm going to put a video out one day, and I'm going to show you. I'm telling you, production variances, something big in these things. So they're all guidelines, all right? But these things are starting to fly good. And in another video coming up, you're going to see just how important tuned arrows are to archery. All right, everybody, kick back, enjoy, me all by myself, as I shoot at the Bergen Bowman's Pig Roast. Not the best way to start the day, but that ain't bad. All right, here I am, just finished, nailed the ping pong ball, got the bear, so it's doing pretty good. People here are beyond friendly. It's a great little course, it's real simple to follow. Target one, get my arrow, let's move on to two. Target two, turkey. <laughs> Why do I hate turkeys? Because I usually don't hit the damn things, that's probably why. And I never really like to eat them, unless they got a really good gravy. All right, here we go. See, went low. Here I'm at target three. Woohoo! Making big progress. Um, I can't find any station markers. You know, show me where to shoot from, which is not a bad thing. I don't mind that. This is great because you know you shoot from where you feel comfortable. If you bring a laser rangefinder, you're gonna find out the range that you feel comfortable at, and that's what you should dial your point on in. So, I'll try it from here. This feels pretty good. Let's see how we do. Not bad, maybe an eight. All right, let's go get that arrow. Hey, everybody. All right, I'm in between three and four. Uh, the lady at the registration told me that four is pretty hard to find. But you know what? It's not. They give you a map. There you go, they're tuned in. I love maps. Being a Pathfinder, I guess we, you know, okay, maps is my thing. All right, real rocky train at the beginning. You know what, but it's not bad. Uh, just keep your eyes open. All right, this is pretty good, having a fun. These are the <laughs> some of the nicest people you meet. All right, and it's right off the throughway. You can probably hear the cars. It's no big deal to me. All right, on to four. Not bad. 
let's go take a look. Oh, four. I understand what the lady meant now. The target marker is back there, about 20 yards. Go past it, you're gonna cross over the little creek, and it's up around the bend. So, it's not that it's not marked, it's just away from the target marker. All right, on to five. All right, target five, and I found my uh, shooting station markers. <laughs> How did I find it? I've seen them before, but I just didn't know what they were for. But, if you're halfway intelligent and you read your scorecard, traditional pink, Pink ribbon. Oops. <laughs> but that's right, because that's pretty much where I was shooting from. Actually, I shot farther <laughs> than I was supposed to on two of them. It's okay. Life be good. All right, let's take my shot. Oh, another javelina. Little piggies, piggy, piggy, piggies. All right, here's the shot. Javelina. Don't know how far, I haven't measured it yet. But man, I am gonna be shooting through some junk on this. You know, and I like that. I like a challenge at times. All right, let's see how we do. Hopefully you'll be able to see all this. And hopefully my elbow doesn't hit my, my camera. I'm gonna be shooting through some branches. Woo! <laughs> Barely got him. Branches are right my damn way. See the uh, tree, little branch leading over? <laughs> it's perfectly in the flight of my arrow. So what does that mean? I'm gonna punch it through or reflect it, deflect it off. Cause I ain't too smart. Here we go. Oh yeah, that was sweet. He was right in front of me and I go, okay, I'll just follow him to four. And then I ran into you guys. Nice. You did good. guys are doing a great job you know targets are nothing fancy just basic animals but there's no way to shoot this standing up which means kneeling or sitting something I do not practice and the penalty for me is I used to shoot a 62 inch bow I'm mean, gonna have to cant it heavy and if I had my 68 inch I'd be in real trouble all right this should be interesting Not bad. You know, shooting is not about your stance, although it is. For me, it's my hip and shoulder uh, relation. Get my shoulders in line, get that back tension, and it's gonna go where you look. All right, I got at least a five. Not the best shot, but hey. All right, having a ball, and it's nice and hot, and I'm sweating already at like nine in the morning. Yeah. All right, you can see the target right behind me. It is 27 yards, and the tape's in the tree. Now, I can shoot from the trail, wide open shot. We're gonna move over, and I'm gonna show you the shot I'm gonna take. All right, here I am, doesn't look much different, but I got, what you can't see is right here, branches in the way, restricting my shot. Just a little harder, and to me, a little more fun. All right, let's see how we do. points right off the bat. That's what you like to see. All right, I want to show you this deer. Uh, the group of people have in front of me, so I had plenty of time. Sorry guys for shooting deer so much, but um, great thing. Three different aim points. First one, all right, two eights. Then I shifted my aim point over and down, got here, and then three here and one off. Now, this one, that big. This one, same size. This group, same size. So if you're out there and you're struggling, you can do this too. This one here is the only one off, but you know what? One out of eight, I'll take that any day. Nice ones, but each one is a separate aiming point. 
means I'm actually learning what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, on to the next one. Oh, it went low. Good shot. All right, this target, I could just, again, shoot it from the wide open trail, but the group before me did it, and I'm gonna do it. The one guy hit the tree, uh, bore 30 yards. Let's see how we do, right? Eh? Ooh, I plucked it, but I still got him. All right, this one's pretty cool. You heard him, spoiled it. There's a tennis ball on that bear. Let's see if I can get it. But those guys just left, so I got him. Mickey, 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 Mickey. Not even calls pad pad shot. Pad shot. Not locking in. Even worse. Going downhill. Damn. But let's see how we show you how I did. Eh, not bad, not good. Holy shit, mile low. All right, I'm at target 18. Just about to take my shot. You know, so far, easy to walk course. Once again, use the map. Uh, 17 was my first miss. <clears throat> Shooting pretty good. You know, these are all medium and small targets. Nothing wrong with that. Actually works my accuracy. All right, take my shot at 19 and keep on a plugging. Oh, oh! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sitting down. That was sweet. Now I'm gonna try the guy's crazy shot through the hole. All right, target 22. Let's show you the X. Here's the X. And last group. Perfectly set up. Can't sit on it. My legs are higher than my, my head. So, I'm gonna do what I always do. I'm gonna make it up. Shoot from a rock. How's that? Ooh, not bad, a little low, but I am really struggling on downhill shots now. Don't know why. 
Much better. There you go. You got perks. Yeah, got perks. Points. I thought you were trying to knock down a plane the way you were aiming. Yo, nice. Oof. Right game, right over the top. That's, that's, that doesn't yeah, work. Bend at the waist. Bend at the waist. Aim straight in front of you, then bend it to waist. done shooting it's only a 28 target course and I was told the reason for that is it's based off their field archery course which is 28 targets you know it's a blast I had a lot of fun and most importantly now I'm gonna go back and have me some barbecue pig yeah baby all right I'll see you in a little bit Stuff. I love barbecue. 